Hi everyone and welcome to Casa Caribe. My name is Laura, I'm a fashion designer and natural dyer. And in this channel we talk about everything related with natural colors. If you want to know more about that, remember to subscribe so you don't lose any content. In this video I'm going to explain you how to print with mordants. Normally when we are dyeing with natural colors, we will more than the fabric so that the fabric can bond with the dye and can take the color. But with this technique, we're only going to more than the part of the fabric that we want to dye. This video, we're going to use ferrous sulfate as a mordant and pomegranate skins as the dye. I know that right now it sounds a little bit conceptual, but in the video, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So let's go to the video. So we're going to need ferrous sulfate, soda ash, vinegar, and guar gum, a scale, a small glass jar, and a spoon to mix, and of course the fabric. Here I'm going to use 100% cotton. and 100% linen to see the difference between the two of them. First, we're going to weigh the ferrous sulfate. For this video, I'm going to use 2 grams of ferrous sulfate. Then, I'm going to dissolve the ferrous sulfate in warm water. Once you have dissolved all the ferrous sulfate, you're going to weigh the vinegar. I'm going to use 46 grams of vinegar. Then I'm going to pour the vinegar into the ferrous sulfate and I'm going to mix. The smell is going to be very strong, so I recommend you to open a window. Then, I'm going to weigh the guar gum. And for this video, I'm going to use one gram. Then we're going to add the gum to our mix. And we're going to stir really well to dissolve all the gum. I normally stir for one minute to dissolve all the small pieces of gum. When you have mixed everything together, let the solution sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you will have a very thick paste. You can use a brush to paint on the fabric. Normally, when we dye with natural colors, we will wedge the fabric, which means that we are going to let the fabric on water for 30 minutes. But with this technique, we will need to have the fabric dry. In this way, the mornan is only going to penetrate the fabrics that we want to dye. I recommend to start with a small piece of fabric to see if the paste has the consistency that you're looking for. If you need a more thickened paste, you can add more guam gar. I'm going to apply my paste using brushes. 
so this consistency is perfect for me. But if you want to do a screen printing, I recommend to add a little bit more or quar gum. You can also play with different tools to get different results. So here's my cotton fabric and I'm going to use a big brush to print on it. I'm going to do an easy print to show you how it works. But you can create more complicated patterns. Once you have finished with your design, you can remove the fabric and let it dry. I recommend to let it dry for 24 hours until you don't smell the strong vinegar. Here I'm going to print my linen fabric. I decide to make a more geometric pattern. This is a technique that takes a lot of time. So I like to listen to my favorite podcast or just use it as a meditation to think about the day that had passed, the year that had passed, and all the expectations that I have for this new year. This technique can be used in all different types of fabric but you will get a better result if you use cellulose fabric. Cellulose fabric doesn't have a great affinity with natural colors. This will mean that the background will stay very white. If you're using proteinic fabric like wool and silk, the silk and the wool in the background are going to take some of the dye so the contrast between the more than printing and the background of the fabric is not going to be as strong as you use in cellular fabric. When you have finished painting, close the jar This space doesn't have a long shelf life, so I recommend always to produce a small quantities. Now I'm going to let my fabric to dry for 24 hours. You will notice that the mordant is going to start to get a little brown. This is perfect. The next day, all the fabric is dry 
and the strong smell of vinegar has disappeared. Now we will have to dunge the fabric. We're going to submerge the fabric in soda ash to remove all the gum so that the dye can penetrate inside the ferrous sulfate. To dunge the fabric, we're going to weight 30 grams of soda ash. If you have canceled carbonate, it's better to use it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it, so I'm going to use soda ash. Then, on a plastic bucket like this one, we're going to add 30 liters of hot water. And then we're going to add the soda ash and stir really well. Once the soda ash is all dissolved, you can add the fabric one by one. You will notice that the paste is going to become green and this is because we are alkaline the solution but don't worry because the green is going to disappear once you try the fabric again once you add all the fabric leave it to soak for at least 10 minutes After that, rinse the fabric with enough cold water. Now the fabric is ready for the next step. Now we will have to create a dye so we can immerse the fabric inside. I'm going to take the pomegranate skins and I'm going to cut it in small pieces. Here I'm using dry pomegranate skins, but you can also use fresh. And on a pot, we're going to add warm water. And we're going to add all the pomegranate skins. And then turn on the heat at the medium temperature. You will notice that the skins are going to start releasing color right away. Let it all simmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the dye is ready to use. Add more water so that the fabric can move freely. And then you can add the fabric. If you're using an exhausted pad, it's better to put the dye again to simmer so that the fabric can take the color better. We're going to add all the fabric and let it inside for about five minutes. You will notice right away that the color will change and it will become a rich black. Here I'm going to add the linen, because the linen takes the color better than cotton, you will notice that the background is going to become a little yellowish, but this is all part of the process. For my linen fabric, I decide to let it in the dye for a little longer because it's a more thick fabric, so it requires more time to take all the dye. 
I leave it there for about 7 or 8 minutes. Once you have achieved the desired color, you can remove the fabric from the dye and wash it really well. This is my cotton fabric and you will notice that it takes the dye right away. So it will become brown and then with a little bit more time it will become black. Once you're happy with the color Remove the fabric from the dye and wash it really well with cold water. We want to remove all the pieces of pomegranate skins but also all the dye that didn't attach to the fabric. After we wash the fabric really well, you can let it dry. I recommend to let it dry in the shadow. At the moment, you will find that the background of the fabric is a little yellowish. And this is because the fiber took a little bit of the color of the pomegranate ink. But because we did not more than the background, this color will fade away. So with the first wash, you are going to notice that this color will going to disappear. And you will get a more rich contrast between the black of the pieces that we more than and the white of the background. If you want to know more about this technique, there is an ebook on my website in which I explain step by step how to print with mordants. In this ebook, I also explain other mordants that you can use and the result that you will get. If you are interested in this ebook, I'm going to leave the link on the description down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!